Full start here with these firecrackers. Bitch, it's over. Damn. You don't hear this shit in the white neighborhood. You get peace and quiet. They got to do all this bullshit in the hood. Then they wait until like 10, 11 o'clock to do the bullshit. Just it like who gives birth to these idiots? Can y'all see me? Okay. Good morning, ugly. Firecrackers. I read some firecrackers. Firecrackers. Anyway, good morning, ugly. It's BW, and I'm here to talk to you. Walker Walker L, baby. We're we, we gonna, we gonna try to make a do with a do. If you tacky hoes ain't subscribed to my channel, you bitches need to subscribe to the channel. Me balls. We got some things to talk about, honey. I'm in a bond, honey. I'm in a bond, bitch. I need you hoes to be my Nathans again. Um, uh, uh, oh, if you ain't subscribed to the channel, did I say that? Yes. Also, take your fingers and hit the thumbs up on this show, bitch. We got some things to talk about. I'm home alone. It feels so good, bitch. This is what I need, peace and quiet. I need a home for myself. It's just, it's been so peaceful. These hoes should be back tomorrow or tonight. I don't know. Anyway, we got some things to talk about, meatballs. It's time for the. Oh, 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 yeah. Topic that's hard. Ow, ow. Topic that's hard. Ow, ow, ow. Topic that's hard. Ow, ow, ow. Let's get it, bitch. Look, look me balls and whoever else is watching me. I was at the library, um, um, you know, doing what I got to do. And I only did about 20 minutes of preparation for this show. 20 minutes, 2-0, bitch. So it's going to be all over the place. I got one piece of paper or whatever I could remember is what I could remember. So... Just bear with me. All right, 20 minutes business. It's all a little preparation. First, I want to start with rest in peace to a friend, a friend of mine, my friend from second and third grade. I don't know if I should say his name, but his name was Danny. Should I have said his name? Oh, well, well, you know, he's dead. Um, yeah, rest in peace to a friend of mine. Me and him was friends in second and third grade. Like, one of my closest friends. And then after third grade, I don't know what happened. Like, I seen him here and there, but you know, it was like, eh, you know. Um, but he's dead. And I could remember in third grade, Danny made me 
and this other boy, this other boy who's now a tranny. Well, anyway, he made me and Danny, he made me and that other boy dress up. He put wigs on our heads because he wanted me and that other boy to go fight some girls. And I'm in the house with Danny and the other boy. And the other boy was so happy. He was like, yes, give me the wig and this, that. And, the, and I, like, you know, you know how you remember some things from, like, second and third grade? I don't know how I remember this. I can just guess because it was one of them standout moments. But anyway... As we were like leaving the house, it was in a project, 70 building. As we was getting ready to leave, I stopped. I'm like, no, I'm not dressed up like a girl to go out here to fight some girls. Cause he had, a, Danny had a problem. I said, uh -uh, what are we doing? I was like, mm -mm, mm -mm, rewind. You know, I look cute. Danny dressed up real cute. This I knew I was a big old queen, but you know some things you just know you a big old queen. So, um, we never went outside. The other boy wanted to go outside so bad. He's now a tranny. I don't know where that boy is at. But, um, I know he's a tranny now. I just don't know, like, you know where he's at. Anyway. But anyway, rest in peace to my friend Danny. Same age. 36, 37, dead. You never know when it's your time, bitch. Live life. Rest in peace, Danny. Um, so... I know these hoes ain't back. I had a I had a peaceful house. It's been so this is how I know this is where some of my stress come at living with people. Like I just need like a quiet, peaceful, you know, it's been so peaceful this whole them hoes been away. It's just ah oh, no stress, nobody running up and down. Anyway, um, so let me tell you all about last night. This motherfucker talking about he gonna shoot me. Well, he ain't gonna shoot me, he was gonna shoot D. Um Oh no, they back. Okay, they're not back. Those are firecrackers. Okay, hold on. They're not back. Those are, that was a firecracker. Okay, good. So this this dude I've been talking to um, on one of the sites. Am I too loud? I'm just happy to have someone to talk to. You know, I know I ain't got no friends. So, we were supposed to meet last night near the post office. Yes, I have to use the post office Wi-Fi. Don't judge me, bitch. Um, so, um, something's like, tell him, like, do he know you a man? Like, I just, I don't know. I'm like, do you know I'm a, 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 a transgender? I just say tranny because they all think it's all this. They don't know. Um, so he's like, oh, no, nah, you could have told me. I said, well, I'm telling you now. Do you know I'm a trans? So he's like, later we're going to talk about Macy Gray, too. Macy Gray and the whole mess with her and the trans and all that nonsense. But um, he's like, oh, no, nah, well, I'm telling you. So he's like, I should come shoot you in your face. I said, bitch, come do it. Come do it, baby. Come shoot me in the face. So I was using the Wi-Fi. I was, I was there. You, I didn't get, I like, like, which, bitch, what are we gonna do? So anyway, in the midst of me standing there and drag, you know, I have my wig on, everything looking cute. Um, cars is like driving by, beeping and da 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 da. But I'm paying nobody no mind. So I'm standing there, and one dude walk up the block, and I was standing there like I, I thought it was him. I said, let's get it. Let's get it. I was ready, bitch. But this dude walked by. So a second dude came. His dark skin, nice body, had his sh like jacket open, sweatpants, and he walks by. And I was like, like, like ready, like to go, like you know. Mm. So he's like, "What's up, baby?" I was like, "Hi." So um, he's like, "What you doing out here?" I was like, "Waiting, waiting for somebody." I was like, "What you doing?" Like, I was mad. Like, I was like, you know, I was ready to go, you know, Aaron. Um, so, he's like, you working? And I was like, uh, yeah. So, um, uh, you know, whatever, whatever. And then he was like, where we gonna go? I was like, bitch, this is a parking lot right across the street. No, the parking lot I was like standing in front of because I was just across the street from the post office. So, anyway. He's like, it's a building over there. So I'm like, no, we can go, you know, in the back, whatever. So he was like nervous because it was like a building, lights is on. So anyway, we went behind a tree 
And thank you. Because the bitch was broke, honey. Anyway, um, so he took my number and I told him, I said, look, my phone is off. Keep checking and I'll know when the phone will be on. So, you know, you know. So, mm, that was fun last night. So he left and he went, whatever. And then I went right back standing there waiting for this dude to come. Who's about he gonna come shoot me in my face, bitch? I was I stayed there for at least 20, 30 minutes waiting for this fool. So I, I, I said, all right, bitch, I had enough of the Wi-Fi. I was really, I wasn't waiting for, I was really there using the Wi-Fi, to be honest with you. I was using my Wi-Fi, I ain't got no phone. I'll tell you all about that in a second. So anyway. So I was like, all right, thank you for the dude. He gave me a little something. So I said, let me just go home. So I started walking home. And as I'm walking, I pick up somebody else Wi-Fi. I guess somebody has open Wi-Fi in the area. So I'm looking. I see I got a new message. This stupid dude. He goes, um, was that you with the white shorts on? And da da I said, yeah. Where was you? I was waiting to get shot in the face. So he's like. Nah, you know, I didn't mean that. I just wish you would have told me. And da, da, da. Bitch, I told you. Me not telling you is you coming up there to see me and me saying, hey, I'm a man. I done told you. So he's like, uh, damn, I did want to get some head. And, Bitch, if you, if, you don't, you know, if you don't back Mary J. Blood, you don't back it up. You better back it up, bitch. You better leave me the fuck alone. So I, I blocked his ass. Ain't nobody got time for the dumbass man. You see how you get some men who's just about their business, like that first dude, he came up, he was like, hey, what's up, da 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 we got straight to the business, in my little cash app, and kept the fuck moving, this idiot, I, it just shows you, anyway, so that was my night last night, bitch, at the motherfucking wife, why was I in the library today, and some lady, she was just loud, just loud, and she's talking about one of her neighbors was, was you, <laughs> <laughs> she said one of her neighbors was using her her Wii fee. That's what she got. Her Wii. Yeah, they, they she was using my Wii fee. No. What did she say? Waffle? She just didn't say Wi-Fi. She was saying my Wii fee. And me and the other girl in the locker like, what is this bitch talking about Wii fee? She's like, the bitch had five things connected to my Wii fee. <laughs> Me and the girl in the library, like, what the fuck is this bitch talking about? Because she was so loud. The whole, you know, you gotta be quiet in the library. This bitch was just loud. Yeah, we called the cops and she told the cops I hit it. Yeah, bitch, because you was on my Wii feed. <laughs> I wanted to say, bitch is Wi Fi, you retarded bitch. Anyway, um, I just dropped my pen. So, that, how was everybody's 4th of July? Um,. I'll tell you all about that in a second. I told you my notes is all over the place. I'm a little stressed out, but it's going to be all right. I was at the library today. I filled about 10 applications, okay, for job and job applications. I got two interviews next week, hopefully. One is with a college, honey. Oh, yes, bitch. A college miss thing. Bitch, I've been filling out. I've, been, I've just been filling out anything. I did not give to, I don't care. But I'm telling you, I, bitch, I'm not doing no, uh, no big daughters. I'm not doing no fast food. I'm sorry, bitch. I will continue to struggle. Shout out to you all who work in the fast food, bitch. I can't do it. I'm not doing no big daughters, no Burger Kings, no White, white Castles, none of that shit. But I did fill out a, uh, 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 my pride wasn't too bad. I did fill out an application for Target. But I did, I did, Look, I just hope the college caught me. I did a hospital. Um, anyway, meatballs. I need my meatballs to help me once again. I'm in a bind. I'm in a bind, Nate. I'm in a bind, Nate. Um, myself, I told you hoes all the time. I don't care what bill. If you don't pay no bills, one bill you need to pay is your phone. And my phone is off, bitch. Like, this is how ghetto it is right now. After I record this show... I have to upload it, but I got to go back to, I might go to McDonald's because McDonald's got a uh, fucking uh, uh, Wi-Fi. So I go to, I will go to McDonald's or to the uh, post office and sit in front while the show uploads and then I upload it like that. I don't know how long, but I got my music. I'm going to have me a little drink when I sit out there while the show, while I use their Wi-Fi because 
I have T-Mobile Wi-Fi, right? They got some 5G bullshit. And they done turned all my shit off. All my shit. They done turned my cell phone off, my Wi-Fi. I ain't got shit, bitch. These hoes, so when I called to check the bill, they talking about, oh, you got three lines. I said, bitch, what the fuck you talking about? I got three lines. I have one line. I use one number. I don't know what you talk about all these other lines. She said, when I got the Wi-Fi, they gave me a new number. Them bitches didn't tell me that when I went to go get the motherfucking Wi-Fi. They said, here's your 5G Wi-Fi thing and have a good day. They didn't tell me I have a second line. Where is this third line coming from? I said, tell me a number that I called. Tell me, text, show me text messages from these other numbers. She said, well, Mr. Bimbo, we can't help you until you pay this past due. Then we, so I got to pay the motherfucking pad. This is where I need the meatballs to come in, bitch. I got to pay this $230. Bitch, I got 100 So I need at least, if, if, please, bitch. I'm in a bond, bitch. Um, 10 of my meatballs to send $10 so I can pay this little motherfucking bill so they can fix my shit. I am so stressed out, but I'm not, like... You don't stay in a situation forever. The way the you should see how I'm grinding for a job. I know I'm gonna have something by next week, bitch. The way I'm grinding, or one of these souls gonna hire me. The way I'm going right now, I did. I sat in that motherfucking library and did ten applications yesterday, ten applications today, two interviews. I'm, I don't give a fuck what it is at this point. I just need something to get me back on my feet. Then my cousin talked about he want to do a podcast with me. Bitch, I ain't nobody got time for no podcast right now, bitch. I got bills and I need a job. I'll work. Let me get my job first and then I'll get back on that shit. Anyway, I need 10 of my meatballs, bitch, to help me so I can pay this little bill off. I got 130 right now. Thanks to my boo last night. Um, but the cash app is Bimbo Love. And then the PayPal is Bimbo Winehouse. 10 of y'all, again, help me y'all, bitch. My birthday next week, bitch, just have a little bitch out, please. I, like, I'm stressed, but I'm not, you can't let shit stress you, like, get you to the point where it's, whatever situation you are in is not going to last forever. I've, I've noticed, I noticed, I noticed, it's, it's not, you are in a situation for right now, six months from now, bitch, I could probably hit a lot or something. You never know what's going, so I'm not stressing myself, bitch. It is what it is, but I just need my phone on. So again, if. Ten of my meatballs, cause since since all I get my phone back on, get my shit back on tomorrow when I can call these holes and curse them the fuck. You should see my bill. So like, I got three lines, bitch. I got one phone line. Where where are these other two lines coming from? T Mobile just do what the fuck they want. Fuck them holes. And then the bitch gonna send me, oh, would you uh a survey? Would you uh what she say? Would you tell your family members about T Mobile? And would you? And the bitch, you hoes can go to hell. Tell them shit. And I gave the bitches a zero. Can you, uh, from zero to ten, how would you rate this phone call? Bitch, a negative ten. You hoes said it helped me. So if I got three lines. Bitch, I got one line. Moving on. Oh, God. So I told you all about last night, right? Oh, the 4th of July weekend. So what did I do the 4th of July? No cookout. No, nobody had no cookout, nothing. Nothing was going on. So I went to the stop and shop and I got me a hamburger because I told you I just wanted to feel like I was at a cookout. So I got me a hamburger and some potato chips and some corn. And I just sat and I just listened to music and I was at a cookout in my head. In my head, I was cooking out with my people's. So I was all right because that's all I really eat at cookouts anyways, the hamburgers. I really don't care for hot dogs and all that extra shit. They, I just really want that nice burnt hamburger. So I did that. And I was sitting here. I was like, bitch, it's 4th of July. You can't get no sleep because these fools is outside with the firecrackers. Oh, and I was like, let me go to the city. So I got up. And, I wasn't going to go to the city. I got up and drag. And I just wasn't feeling it as I was walking to the train. And I said, let me just stay in the hood. And then them firecrackers. I said, you know what? I will not stay here all night. Listen, so... I ran to the train. I got on there just in time. Oh, my God. The train was so packed. I get on, booty hanging out, wig all messy, and everybody's just staring. I'm like, oh, God. You all know I hate attention. I'm like, oh, get me to the city. Get me to the city. 
So one dude is across when a lot of people got off the train. So he's across. He's holding his pen. I'm like, I'm not leave me alone. So I got off the train. I'm in the city, and I have a new love for this. Like I, I fell in love with the city again. Cause what I like about the city is that, you know, these men know what it is. Ain't no, are you a man? Are you not a man? Bitch, you go to 8th Avenue around 23rd Street. You know it's trannies and stuff. So it's no whatever discussion. It's just, it is what it is. Like, so I went out there and I was near my spot. I told you all I like to be at, right? You know? So I'm at the spot and it was like three other trannies walking. Bitch, I don't want to be friends with none of y'all. Leave me alone. Hi and bye. Sorry. I, can, I don't do clicks. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I stay to my, I'm a solo. I'm a her, uh, introvert. I know. Anyway. So, I heard one of the girls say, oh, what's wrong with him? No, what's wrong with her? Whatever she said. What, well, you want me to respond to you? Bitch, I don't know you. Anyway, so I went down to 14th Street. I said, let me try. Let me just walk down a little bit. You know, I'm always standing in my seat. Let me just get out of my comfort zone. So, I walked down 8th Ave to 14th Street. And I was standing in front of, like, some something. And, um, like... This dude's with his girl. And ladies, if your man take you to the city to take you down 8th Avenue, he's gay, bitch. I'm sorry. He's going down there and look at men in trannies. Anyway, um, so he walked by. And as they walked by, I'm just like sitting on the railing. And he looked and he went like he looked at me and his girl didn't see. I'm just like, really? He... These men are something else. So, I didn't pay him no more. I was like, mm. Some dude, I think he worked for the train or something, or like the MTA. He had one of them outfits on. Older man, older gentleman. He walked by, but he was walking real slow to get my attention. I see everything. People think I don't know what's going on just because I have my headphones on. Bitch, I see everything that's going on. You hoes think I'm not paying attention, bitch, what I am. So, he walked by, and he's staring at Dante. He's like... Bitch, come over here and talk to me. But I forget how these men are. They do y'all. They scared. You know. Blah, blah. So he crosses the street. And I'm like, bitch, you ain't got no job. You better get, try to get all the little friends you can. So about 30 minutes go by. He's still out there. I see him open his car door. And he's like. So I nodded. I said, go down the block. So I started walking down the block. And I went. And I turned, and I didn't see him. I said, oh, well, he don't want me there. Whatever, he must find another train. I don't care, no big deal. So as I'm walking down the block, I see his car pass, and he stops. And I go to the side. I was like, what's up, baby? He's like, oh, you look so sexy. The thing is poking out. I was like, do you want me to get in your car? So he's like, yeah. So I walked around the car, and I got in. It was like a Jeep. So I was like, go... Oh, it reminded me of the night I was with Mr. C. That's exactly how... No, it didn't go down like that with Mr. C. It was similar to that, but it wasn't like that. But anyway, I got in his car, and he drove down. I was like, drive down the block, because he was so thirsty to, like, suck Dante. I'm like, damn, can we get out the lights? So we get down the block, and um, what happens? We park, and I was like, you, you, you got to take care of me, right? He's like, yeah, 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 baby. I ain't got, I, you know, I ain't got that much. I was like, how much you got? So he gave me a little something. And, you know, I just let him play with I didn't, I was like, I'm not coming because that's not enough, bitch. You want me to come? He's like, ah, oh, that's all. So I let him play with me for like five minutes. I was like, I gotta go. So I jumped out. He's like, oh, that was so good, baby. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, whatever. I closed the door and I walked up the block. So I get up the block and I wanted like something I was attracted. I mean, he wasn't bad. All right, he was bad looking bitch. I didn't want him. I wanted something I was attracted to, but it wasn't like nobody was really seeing. No, one dude did go by. He came by on a bike. He had one of them bikes that, that be in New York City. I don't know them stupid bikes they be riding. He was on the phone. He stopped. He's like, damn, boo. But he, I, he was cute, but he didn't like. Move me. Like, I want somebody to, like, oof, move me. You know what I mean? He didn't move me like that. So, I didn't really, you know, air, air. 
So he's like, why are you acting like that? I was like, it's not you. You're cute, but you ain't really moving me. Like, I want, I want somebody to move me. You know, ooh, you know, um, let me see. Shirt off, tattoos. Something to move me. Like, he was cute, though. But I was like, baby, go on. Have a good night. So he was mad. I was like, well, bitch, I don't want you. So he drove. So he went away on his bike. So it was about... Three, bitch, I was a hoe that, you know I'm a hoe, bitch, you know I'm a hoe. So it was about three o'clock. So let me just take the train home. So I got on the two train and I go to the like back seats. So it was around maybe Simpson Street. If you know the two train in the Bronx, it was around, no, it was more. Yeah, it was around Simpson Street. So I'm in a train car. It's like one African guy across from me and he's like sleeping. Like, <laughs> So this dude walks into the train cart, brown skin, kind of short, and he sits right across from me when it's all these seats. So when they sit right across from you, you know what it is. So he looked at me. I looked at him. He said, what's up? I was like, hi. This is why I can't be a full sub training because it just is too much. I need like a moment of just like, leave me alone. So as I'm sitting across from him, he just whoops, he just pulls his meat out. I said, really, just like that? He's like, ah. So he's like, come here. I was like, no, you come here. So he said, come here. I was like, all right. So I went over to the seat across from me and I sit next to him and he started like rubbing my thighs. And then he's like, let me see yours. So I pulled Dante out. He's like, damn. So, you know, he played with my stuff. He, uh, then he got off at 174th Street. Bitch, I'm the whole bitch, Earl. So after that, I stayed in the train and I was like getting close to my stop, which is 241st Street. So what happens is I like to walk to the train carts to get closer. So I got to walk all the way down the platform. So I get to like the third train cart and... No lie, it was like six dudes in there sitting at different areas. I was like, damn. So we get off at 241st Street, and I hear one dude, like one of the dudes, pss, pss, in my ear as we walking down the stairs. So he goes out first and he goes that way. So I go that way, but it all leads down on the same stair tracks. So I go off. This is why I love. This is why I love the summertime in New York, baby. So I walk in, and it's like he comes across the street, and I hear him talking. But if he really wanted me, he would have followed me, which he did. So I crossed the street because it was like mad people over here, and I hear people. So I started walking up the block, and I hear yo yo, and I just turned, and it was him. I said, I know it. So. We walk in, he walk in, he's like, where you going? I was like, I'm going home. He's like, can I go with you? No, you're not coming with me to my house. You're not coming out dungeon. No, thank you. And I live far. Like, some people will probably laugh at me as far as I walk from the train. It's like an hour, bitch, I can walk, though. Your hour is 20 minutes because I speed walk. Oh, anyway, it was still dark when I got back up town. So, um... We found the spot and, you know, we chilled, whatever, whatever, whatever. And, bitch, I came home. I said, all right, enough is enough. I am tired. I came home, took a shower, took my wig off, and it was it. And that was my 4th of July. It was a good one. I had fun. And I get home almost 6 o'clock in the morning. Why do I still hear fireworks? I said, I done left the city today to go out, and I'm still here and fight. What is wrong with you fools? It's 6 o'clock in the morning. Let it go. So that was my 4th of July. How was your 4th of July? What you do? Um, if you work, be happy you work. You got a job. You got time and a half. Because there's some of us out here who is struggling bad right now. I wish I would have worked on 4th of July. Like, there's really nothing to do no more in this world. Like, if you like... I mean, some of you all are social. You like to go to clubs and stuff. I'm not really a social person anymore. I'm an introvert. I really don't, you know. So, whatever. All right, moving on. So, 
So what's this? I'm hearing that DoorDash was giving out all this food. What was going on with the door? Do you got DoorDash? I ain't never ordered from no DoorDash because, bitch, them hoes take two hours to deliver your food. And the food ain't hot. And it look like people be playing with it. Your food, I don't never do no DoorDash. But what's this? I heard people was ordering about $2,000 worth of McDonald's. And and they was ordering liquor and, and crab legs and shrimp and all this stuff and it was all free. What was going on with the DoorDash? They said it lasted for about two hours. It was a glitch. Did any of you hoes get some free food? Let me know what you got. Who got the free liquor, bitch? Give me some absolute, bitch. Give me some absolute. Um, and I'm also hearing that Beyonce for her new album. She has a new album coming out, and I hope it's like her first album. Dangerous in love. Cause this new this lemonade now, nah, bitch. I don't hear nobody no lemonade. I don't hear nobody no Jay-Z cheating. Cause bitch, you know you ain't leaving. I want Beyonce. First of all, I want her to get back with Destiny's child. That's what them hoes need to do. Kelly Rowan told about she got new music coming out. Beyonce, bitch, we want you hoes back together for another album. That's what I really want. But anyway, <clears throat> Beyonce said she is doing background checks on you hoes. If you want to be on Beyonce album. She's doing the background. She don't want you. She don't want you attached to nothing. No misdemeanors, no lawsuits. She wants your record to be clear because the guy who did the, the drunken love. That, ooh, that was one of my favorite Beyonce songs. I've been drinking. I've been drinking. And then, 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 now that was that shit. I said, you better come on, Beyonce. Eat the, eat the cake anime. I said, eat the cake anime. Well, anyway, the producer of that song, allegedly, his name is Detail. Detail, allegedly, he has 15 counts of sexual assaults. I don't know if it's men. I don't know if it's women. But 15 counts. And Beyonce is like, oh, hell no. This motherfucker that produced my song, Drunk in Love, and I'm attached. He got my name attached to him over these insult assaults. So Beyonce said for her new album, I don't know when the album coming out, she's doing background checks and all you hoes. She don't want to hear about no lawsuits, no sexual assaults, no gun charges, no drug possessions. You bitches better come in clear so you know what that means. The album going to be corny. Because Detail killed that shit with that drunken love. Moving on. You tired hoes. So, do you all remember Kenan and Kel? They look like the number 10. When when Kel stand next to Kenan, he looks, they look like the number 10. You know, Kenan and Kel. I'm talking about the skinny one. I remember back in the days, God rest my best friend Dana, who's dead. But me and her went to WBLS, this event called WBLS, Circle of Sisters, or Sisters of Circles, whatever the fuck it's called. Anyway, when I went there, I think it's called the Circle of Sisters, yeah, WBLS, and me and Dana went, and all these people was coming up to me. Some people knew me from Wendy Williams, because I had Bimbo, Dana had put Bimbo in the back of my jacket, so like, people said Bimbo, and they knew me from the Wendy Williams show, but people didn't know me. They thought I was Kel. The one I'm about to talk about, Kel. They, oh, you Kel from Keenan and Kel? Because, you know, celebrities. I was like, yeah, I'm Keenan. Hey, girl, how you doing? But I was whatever. So, anyway, the story is about Kel. His ex-wife, Taisha. I think that's her name, Taisha. Well, baby, they saying, they saying you are a attention whore. You just looking for some clout and some attention now that you ain't with Kells no more. Because why are you bringing this up 15 years later? She is claiming, which I'm thinking is true because neither of these motherfuckers denied the shit, that one day she walked up into her motherfucking apartment, bitch, and she saw Nick Cannon. Oh, yes, baby, the Cannon. The one with the 100 kids. He was on the bed with Kells. And he had a cheerleader outfit on, honey. All right. Bringing out his inner D. He had a cheerleader outfit on, bitch. And he was up on, he was doing some cheers for Cal. Trying to make him feel better. Oh, yes. Isn't it this, isn't this the same Nick Cannon that that guy from That's So Raven? What's the one, the light-skinned one? He was on them drugs. He was on them drugs real bad. 
Well, anyway, he alleged that Nick Cannon gave him head. One time, he, you know, he, he Nick Cannon was in was was dressed up, you know, in, in a cheerleader. Yes, bitch, the one, the fat boy from um um That's So Raven. I can't think of his name, but he too said that Nick Cannon liked to dress up in cheerleader outfits, and he allegedly gave him some sloppy toppy, honey. Nick Cannon, what's going on with you, honey? And Nick Cannon ain't denying nothing. He just said, look, bitch, you crazy. No, he did say something. Let me find it. Hold on. Let me find it, baby. He, he said something about... Hold on. He said... I gotta go... Um, hold on. Let me find this. What he say? What he say? Oh, this is what he said, y'all. Oh, come on. Where is it at? Oh, this is what he said. He said... Yup. Probably had the big ear of corn, a bunch of orange soda, and a couple of kids' choice awards up our asses too. And then the girl, what's her name? Taisha said, I'm so glad that you're keeping it a hundred. Maybe you can help your boy Cal come out the closet. Teach him something about taking care of all his kids like you do. By the way, I need my cheerleading uniform back. Look, I I don't know what to say, but I'll tell you ladies something. Sometimes a man will have a whole lot of babies just to cover up something, if you know what I mean, and I think you do. Baby, I can't be gay. I got 50 kids. How's a gay man going to have 50 kids? Because I, I know somebody in my you know, it's just, they, they, they got to cover up the facts. So they have all these kids to cover up the real situation. Don't care nothing about them kids. Don't care nothing about them baby mamas. He just got to look straight to the world, to his boys. Yo, I'm not gay, yo. I got 50 kids. I don't give a fuck about them kids or the baby mamas. I just need for you all to think I'm straight because I got 50 kids. So I'm not calling it canon gay, but I'm just saying... Sometimes a man gotta do what he gotta do to cover up the cover up the situation of the situation. Moving on, hey Nick Cannon, Nick Cannon, if you are gay, baby, Nick Cannon follow me on Twitter. I don't know why he followed me. I guess he saw some of the bimbo warm house. He wants some of this booty, baby. I give a Come on, Nick. I won't tell. I'm done exposing. I ain't exposed no more. Mr. C was it. I ain't supposed nobody else, bitch. All right. Um. Moving on. I want to shout out to you all who be on my Facebook blog, Bimbo Winehouse. And I posted a picture of Nicki Minaj at the Essence Festival. And yes, I said, you hoes is always talking about Little Kim and the way Little Kim looks. Bitch, Nicki Minaj ain't looking no better. And you hoes is claiming that she's having a baby. I don't know if the bitch is pregnant or not. But you hoes always, up, always talking shit about Little Kim. Leave the queen be alone, honey. Look him through some things. And you all talk about she got low self-esteem. Like, few of us, you know, few of us, we have low self You know, quite a few of us have low self-esteem. But, bitch, why you hoes sitting on the internet calling her ugly and talking about... Do you think that's helping the situation of the situation? And I understand how you women out here picking on little Kim, bitch. Ain't you supposed to be a woman? What you up there looking at another woman for? You a lesbian, bitch? Moving on. So is Nicki Minaj pregnant though? Because you hoes is claiming that she's pregnant at the box, which I really don't give a fuck. I'm just gagging at the fact that this is who she is wanting to spend the rest of her life with. This is who she chooses that. Look, we all love who we love, but I ain't see now one person to agree with Nicki Minaj and her baby father choice or her husband. Even you Bob's disagree with that with Kenneth Petty. They saying, Nikki, you, you could have had anybody, but just who you choose, really. That's what I'm saying. All right, uh, moving on. So, R. Kelly got 30 years. What are we supposed to do? I, I, what are we supposed to do? Look, hey, it is what it is. I still listen to me some R. Kelly music. I sure do. Like, last night, I was listening to Bump and Grind. I don't see nothing. Do you hold still listen? I bitch, I stop. What am I supposed to do? Listen to fucking Gunna and all these new rappers? Bitch, please. I will still listen to R. Kelly until the damn day. And speaking of jail in prison, 
This rapper named Bobby Shimurda, um, he talked about he received oral sex in prison from a female. What was the purpose of you telling us that you got oral sex from a woman? What are you trying to cover up, Bobby Shimurda? Look, bitch, I got to go, honey. Um, I ain't got nothing else to talk about. I told you no, these notes is gonna be all over the place. Oh, I did want to talk about the whole Macy Gray and the whole thing with her saying just because a man goes out and get woman body parts that doesn't make, you know, a person a woman and this, that, and the third. And a lot of you all are I'll be honest with you all, my head is hurting from this. I'm so sick of reading about this whole Macy Gray and this whole trend. I'm just sick of it. My head is like really hurting. I don't even want to talk about it. But a lot of you all don't like comedian Flame Monroe because he was kind of in agreement with... He's a he's a, uh, a transgender as well. And a lot of you all are calling him he's not a real transgender because he's a part-time trans. Why? Because he's not a makeup... 24 7 of the day. His, and when he went, like I told you, his birthday is the day before mine. I'm the 15th, he's the 14th. So I can kind of, I kind of, I agree with him. A lot of you all, does, they, they don't agree with what he's saying because, well, he's not always in full set of drag. And, 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 you know, sometimes he has a downtime where he just dresses, you know. Uh, his, I, my head is certain, my head is certain. I just feel like people, we all have assholes. No, that's what I'm saying. We all have a. I don't know where that came from. I'm sorry. I think I'll get full to the party. Um, we all have opinions. Oh, that's what it is. Opinions are like assholes. We all have one. Just because with Macy Grace, Macy Gray, is that the bitch name? Whatever she said, that's her opinion. It doesn't mean that she hates gays. It doesn't mean that she hates uh, trannies. And, and it doesn't mean just because she said what she said doesn't mean she hates y'all. We all are all different. We are all different human beings. We all have different mindsets. Everyone is not going to be agreeance of what you do or how you choose your life or whatever. The only thing I ask for is respect. That is it. Respect me and I respect you. It's shit. A lot of these human beings in this world, a lot of straight people do. I'm not with a grand bitch. You hold sit here talking about gays, but none of you hoes is married, having all these babies, giving birth to us gay babies, and you hoes ain't married. But you sit up here talking about us gays. We all, bitch, we all going to hell. Everybody's sin, but they only look at the gays. But I don't sit up there all day long and talk, bitch. I don't give a fuck, bitch. Life is too short. I'm too stressed out to be around with the number. Whatever fuck you think about me, bitch, I don't give two fucks, bitch. I'm just trying to make it through tomorrow. So I say all that. Trannies and stuff, stop giving a fuck what these people think about you, bitch. Just live your life. Just get these women husbands and get your money, bitch, and keep it the fuck moving. That, that's it. You may think you're a woman. These, pe these, may, these people may think you're not a woman. Who gives a fuck, bitch? Live your life. Like me, I when I dress up in drag, it don't bother me if a motherfucker call me a man or woman. I don't give a fuck. You can call me a, a turtle or a cow. A bitch, you honestly think your opinion matters to me. It don't. So I say all that to say if you got a problem with Macy Gray, stop supporting the shit she do. If you really feel some way. Like if Mary J. Blige was to come out and say, oh, I don't like gay people and this whatever. Uh, I wouldn't give a fuck. I'm still going to listen to I Never Want to Live Without You, baby. Mary's Joints. And you know what new song I like by Mary J. Blige that I have my five favorite Mary J. Blige songs, but there's one song that just, at first when it came out, I really didn't like the song. I was like, girl, what's the girl? I might care about this song. But now I listen to this song. It is really inspiring. Good morning, gorgeous. Good morning, gorgeous. Sometimes you got, I'm about to listen to that. That song is so, oh man. 
Anyway, I say all that to say, bitch, love yourself. If you want to be a man, be a man, be a woman, bitch, live your life. Stop caring what the next person think about you, bitch. As it's all about respect. Respect me, I respect you. You may may not agree with what I do, <clears throat> cause I don't agree with some of the shit you all. But I'm not gonna sit up here and hate you. I don't give a fuck, bitch. What you do don't make me shit. Anyway, but <coughs> excuse me. Me boss, I got to go once again. Me boss, I need to get my phone on, bitch. I need to get my all oh, my shit is on. My Wi-Fi, my, I'm just up. Oh. If you all ain't pray for me, bitch, pray because I need prayer, bitch. I felt like I lost a family member this week with my phone and that, bitch. I need the phone. I need the phone, bitch. All right? So, I need 10 of my people to send me $10, bitch, on the cash app right now, bitch. I need this phone all by tomorrow, bitch. I'm missing out on some of my deal do send me out. I'm a bitch. I need the phone. Thank God for the welfare phone, though. I was able to call my mother. That's all you can do. These little... The fuck they give us these phones for? You can't do nothing. I can't get on the internet. A little 200 gigabytes. That shit's gone. All right, meatballs. I will talk to you all. Um, I'm trying to do a birthday show next week. I'm trying to... I don't know where my life is going. I don't know. I, I, I Look, I'm taking it day by day. All right. I love you all. I talk to you all. Um, I'm going to now edit this show. Then I'm going to go sit in front of the, uh, the library somewhere and upload this shit. My lip is a hot mess. All right. Bye, meatballs. But, bitch, it's all right, though. What's that song about Beyonce? You can't take my soul. You can't take my soul. All right. I'll talk to you all later. Bye, y'all.